Hi, I'm Crystal. As a child, I was always nurturing and naturally loved dolls. When I became an adult and discovered reborn dolls, my little family started to grow. There's Haley, Landon, Avery, Chloe, Shiloh, Grace, Jamie, Jeremy, Maya, Yuki, and Savannah. Along with collecting, I have been a reborn artist since 2008. It isn't easy keeping up with my collection, but it's a lot of fun. Hello, everybody. So, um, it's Tuesday, which means that here in Canada, it's Remembrance Day. And, um, so of course, I was at work all day, which means that Grace was at daycare. And so at daycare, they colored poppies, and she wanted to show you, um, her her coloring which is kind of all over the place <laughs> but you did a really good job grace um and so yeah it just says november 11th remembrance and here in canada i don't know about the u.s but here in canada we wear um poppies and um so it's now evening and of course grace is in her jammies ready for bed so, um, I thought that I would just do this quick video to show what she colored at daycare for Remembrance Day and then also to read her, um, this children's book that I have that, um, teaches about Remembrance Day. Um, so I thought that I would do that for a bedtime story. I know it's kind of a depressing kind of bedtime story. Um, but you know, it is Remembrance Day and we do need to remember all of the, um, soldiers and veterans who have, you know, done so much for our country over the years. And, um, actually this morning I was at a music class with Margaret and, um, of course there's no way to have a moment of silence. Usually you have a moment of silence at 11 o'clock. And there really is no way to have a moment of silence when you have um, toddlers and young and inf infants and toddlers with you. Um, so what the music teacher actually did is at 11 o'clock, she um, sang, um, where have all the flowers gone? So I thought that was kind of nice. Um, but yeah, let's, let's go and read the story. I hope you can see we've just kind of cuddled up here on the couch with a nice tied fleece blanket and Grace wanted to keep her coloring sheet nearby she likes to look at it but we're going to be reading a poppy is to remember and <laughs> I guess Riley wants to hear the story too um come on up Riley here let's make room for you come on up one up. Okay, but you gotta be quiet because we're gonna read a story. Okay, are you ready, Gracie? Abby, she's in it. Okay, Shh. okay, we have to listen to the story now. A poppy is to remember. Once there was a long and terrible war, a war some called the Great War. Many young men went off to fight, and many did not return home to their families. And I'll show you guys the pictures, too. Hopefully, you can see them. Oops, sorry, Grace. But still, in the muddy fields where they fought, wild poppies sprang up, glowing brightly. An army doctor, weary from tending the wounded, wrote a poem about that war and about those poppies. So I'll quickly show you that picture. And then this is the um, poem that we always read every Remembrance Day. It's called In Flanders Fields. Um, in Flanders Fields the poppies blow between the crosses row on row that mark our place and in the sky 
the lark still bravely singing fly, scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead short days ago. We lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you from failing hands we throw. The torch be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with who with us who die, we shall not sleep though poppies grow in Flanders fields. His poem was read far and wide when the war finally ended on November 11, 1918. People everywhere celebrated the return to peace. A poppy is to remember those far from home crossing troubled lands. And threatening waters and dangerous skies. It is for the wounded and those who cared for them. It is for the dead and those who carried on without them. It is for the brave, brave ones who remain and their memories of battle. A poppy is for peace. Every year on Remembrance Day, it blooms across our land. Sorry for blocking your face, Gracie. You're helping me read the story and show everyone the pictures. <laughs> A poppy is to remember. I hope everyone can see this. <laughs> I'm kind of winging it. And yeah, and then it just goes on to give like the whole history of the poppy, which is a little too over Gracie's head and would take too long for this video to go through. But um, it just shows like different pictures from Canada um, throughout the years and things like that. And just talks about Remembrance Day in Canada. So yeah, that is a poppy to remember. And... I hope Grace liked it. I think it's a pretty nice story and, and it's it's actually not too harsh of a way to um, teach children about Remembrance Day. It doesn't, you know, get too gruesome. It's, you know, it's just what it is. It's about remembering and, um, you know, that kind of stuff. So we have our poppy book. Grace is still super excited about the poppy that she colored. I think you did a really good job, Gracie. You did a beautiful job coloring the poppy. Mwah. Mommy loves you. All right, guys. I hope everyone had um, a nice day, regardless of the fact that it is Remembrance Day. And I hope that you all took a moment to remember um, those that have fought for us. And I think it is time for this little one to get ready for bed. All right, guys. We will see you in the next video. Bye. This is the H&M dress that I bought, the knitted one. And then I also got the hat at H&M. And then these were those tights that I got at Sears. And honest to goodness, look at that. The whole thing just goes together so beautifully. I absolutely love this outfit. Now, the sleeves are a little short, so they sometimes creep up and show the cloth. And so I think also like, you know, just for warmth, um, in the fall and winter, I will probably